asthma, a chronic respiratory condition characterized by airway inflammation and hyperresponsiveness, affects millions of people worldwide. Among the various factors contributing to its onset, atopy stands out as the most potent predisposing element. To understand why atopy is so pivotal in the development of asthma, it is essential to delve into the mechanisms of atopy and its relationship with the immune system, particularly the role of immunoglobulin E or IgE, which is what we're going to cover in this quick video. Atopy refers to the genetic tendency to develop allergic diseases. This predisposition is heavily linked to the production of IgE, an antibody type that plays a crucial role in the body's allergic response. In individuals with atopy, the immune system is inclined to produce IgE in response to common environmental allergens such as pollen, dust mites, or pet dander. This IgE-mediated response is a hallmark of allergic diseases, including asthma. When an atopic individual encounters an allergen, their immune system overreacts. The allergen binds to IgE antibodies which are attached to the surface of mast cells. This binding triggers the mast cells to release various inflammatory mediators such as histamines and cytokines, leading to the symptoms associated with allergic reactions. In the lungs, this response can cause bronchoconstriction, airway inflammation, and increased mucus production which are key features of asthma. The link between atopy and asthma is further reinforced by epidemiological studies. Asthma is significantly more common in individuals with a personal or family history of atopy. Conditions like allergic rhinitis and eczema, which are also IgE-mediated, frequently coexist with asthma, suggesting a shared pathophysiological pathway. Moreover, the early exposure to allergens in atopic individuals often correlates with the development of asthma. The hygiene hypothesis suggests that reduced exposure to infectious agents and microbes during childhood, a common scenario in modern cleaner environments, may contribute to the development of atopy and subsequent asthma. This theory posits that the immune system lacking early microbial exposure becomes skewed towards an allergic response. However, it is crucial to recognize that asthma is a multifactorial disease. While atopy is a significant predisposing factor, other elements like environmental factors, respiratory infections, air pollution, and lifestyle choices also play crucial roles. For instance, exposure to tobacco smoke, either prenatally or during early childhood, is a known risk factor for developing asthma. Similarly, obesity has been linked to an increased risk of asthma, possibly due to the pro-inflammatory state associated with excess weight. But as previously mentioned, atopy stands out as the strongest predisposing factor for asthma due to its direct involvement in the IgE-mediated allergic response. The genetic tendency to produce IgE in response to common allergens sets the stage for the development of asthma, especially when combined with environmental and lifestyle factors. Understanding this link is vital for both the prevention and management of asthma highlighting the importance of addressing both genetic and environmental components in asthma care. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, and I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.